Hi, and welcome to Gulf Coast Bird Observatory. In this video, I'll be going over what to do when a bird strikes your window and how you can prevent this from happening in the first place. Window strikes happen because the bird sees the reflection of the outdoors in the window or they see inside and want to go in. The bird doesn't know that there's something in the way until it hits it head on. This impact leaves the bird concussed and can often kill it. In the US, an estimated 1 billion birds die per year because of window strikes. Let's see if we can change that. What do you do with a bird that has slammed into a window? Do you leave it there to recover on its own or try to help it? If the bird is moving around, leave it alone, but if it's on its back, unresponsive, it might be time to step in. Try to place the bird on a branch where it can perch. If it perches, leave it alone. If it can't perch, bring it inside into a small box. You can make a cushion out of tissue, preferably in a donut shape, to prop the bird upright. Gently place the bird in the box and close it. The last thing you want is a bird hopping around your room. You can place something heavy on top of the box so the bird can't escape. Place the bird in a dark, quiet room for 30 minutes. Then take the box outside before opening it. The bird might be able to fly out of the box on its own, or it might need you to hold it. Do not try to throw the bird into the air. That might end badly. If the bird doesn't fly, you can place it back in the box, back in the dark place, for another 30 minutes. You can repeat these steps until the bird flies, usually within an hour or two. If the bird never flies, you might want to take it to your local wildlife rehabber. A great way to prevent window strikes is to make the windows more visible to birds. At GCBO, we've installed all of our windows with bird tape. There are plenty of buying options, but I got mine from American Bird Conservancy. This tape comes pre-cut or in strips. You attach it simply by sticking it to the window. You can create different patterns with the tape to your taste. You can also create your own decals. Maybe you or your child wants to draw something for the window. You can also print something out or make it a fun coloring project. When you're done, all you have to do is cut it out and tape it to the window. Try to space them out so that they're all over the window and visible to birds. For businesses, you can order specialized decals with wording or logos. There are plenty of other prevention solutions, including Ecopian bird savers. With this, you use hanging cords instead of stickers to draw attention to the windows. I hope this video has given you some helpful tips on how to protect our feathered friends. Thanks for watching! To keep up with our events and what we're doing, you can follow us on Facebook. Visit us online at gcbo.org to sign up for our e-news, learn more about us, and shop at our online store. If you'd like to come visit us and walk our trails, our hours are Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30. If you'd like more information, would like to set up an education day, or would like to sign up to be a volunteer, you can call us at 979-480-0999 or email us at info at gcbo.org. From Gulf Coast Bird Observatory, we thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.